Welcome to another Wichita Toy Train Club Lionel product review. I'm Zach Raff. Behind the camera we have Chris. And today we're going to take a look at the new Cupola Cam Wide Vision Caboose from Lionel. We couldn't find anything specific to the Wide Vision Caboose other than that, of course, the uh, reason that it's called a Wide Vision is the cupola on the top of the caboose is extended out from the caboose body that gives the conductor a little bit more of an expanded view of the train as they're going around tracks to check for hot boxes and, the other, and any other issues with the train as they're rolling down the track. So a few features on this caboose. It is your standard Lionel O-scale caboose, uh, scale proportions, operating couplers, LED lighting. It also, of course, has our cupola cam, which sits right up here in the cupola. We'll get a closer look here in a minute. And that, of course, lets us uh, see the view from the caboose of our train ahead. Let's go in for a closer look. All right, now we're looking at the front of the caboose here. Right up front here, we can see our big O-gauge coupler. It is a thumbtack style uncoupling tab, so we can pull that down to open our coupler or use an uncoupling track to pull that down. Moving up, we have this little safety chain here in the middle. We have this nice uh, separately applied uh, detail up front there with all the pipes and the ladder and so forth. That looks nice. This uh, deck up here is a see-through deck. Uh, same thing with the steps. Those are all see-through. We have nice safety striping to identify where our steps are. And a couple separately applied grab irons around the front here. There's a little bit of detailing around our silver on our all our windows up front here. Our middle door there, they are separately applied and they are sprung, but they don't open very easily. And I, I earlier when I tried to open one, it didn't want to snap back closed. So I'm not going to push on it, but they are separately applied and I'm sure some of them actually might open and close freely. Okay, now we're looking on the side of the caboose here. As we can see down below, we have our standard Lionel trucks. These do have rotating bearing caps. I was surprised to see that they're not sprung or anything. They're our Beckendorf truck. We can see a little bit of uh, brake detail down here, our air reservoir and our triple P valve. There's a nice crisp 18 SF and our road number. The 18, uh, the, uh, all the paint job on here and all these legible numbers here look wonderful. The only thing I've, I, I saw on this is right under that T, there's a little scratch there. We probably did that, but uh, just wanted to let you know if you saw that, we probably did that. I doubt that came out of the box like that. These white grab irons here, they do seem to be separately applied, but they are very close to the side, so they don't stick out very well. Uh, I'm not sure what's with that. We have a, a bunch more legible uh, words up there and information. And down here, there's a couple other things down there. Now we're looking on the top of the caboose right up front here. We have our the top of our uh, white ladder here. That's all separately applied. Looks real nice. It's along with all our walkway up here. That is all separately applied and see-through. Looks really nice up here. Some molded in details that, for the roof ribs. Back here, over here, we have a nice crisp 718. Our windows look real nice. There's a couple of separately applied grab irons up here on top of the cupola along with an antenna. Right here might be kind of hard to see, but that right there is our camera lens. And it looks right out that window over the top of our train. And right over here through this window, we have a, a hand-painted crew figure. Okay, now we've moved to a different angle here. It's kind of hard to see, but we came to this angle because you can see it a little bit better. You see right here and then over towards here, there is a, a glob of paint. Uh, I just thought I'd point this out. It's not something you commonly see, uh, but at this particular angle, you can see it. If I look at this from any other angle, you can't see it. The video probably makes it look a little bit worse than it really is. I just thought I might point it out on this particular model. Now we're looking back um, behind the cupola and we can see we have our smokestack for the uh, wood stove inside the caboose. Ours, when we took it out of the package, uh, the top deflector for the stack was broken in two pieces. Not sure what's why that was. Uh, I'm sure if that happened to anybody else, you just get with Lionel, they'll get it corrected. 
this came in about a month before dealers kept were getting theirs in so this might be a production sample we never didn't get a clarification from lionel on that but uh anyway same thing with that our ribs back here uh, our molded in look nice along with our ladder and our walkway now we're back here looking on the rear of the caboose and as we can see it's just the same as the front uh, all our usual details are the same back here as with the caboose uh, one thing i did forget to mention up front is we do have a little led red light this is on both the rear and the front it is red and it does light up with uh, when we do add track power all right now we got the caboose flipped over here and we're looking at the bottom right over here that's the bottom of a toolbox that is on the other side that we were looking at so there's a toolbox there we can see the rest of our brake rigging that is on the underneath here right here we have a nice uh, built by Lionel date and our product number right there is our reset button for the camera for whatever reason we're having issues with the camera well press and hold that for two seconds if I remember correctly and uh, that'll reset our camera right over here we have a light on off switch so this will kill power to our interior lighting and then back over here it's kind of hard to see if I turn this truck here yeah, I'll hold it we can see right through there there is and some more uh, letter an on off another on off switch that is an on off switch for our camera that way we can do that uh, turn that off separately if we're not going to use it uh, another uh, item to note as again with any piece of rolling stock or locomotive you get i would always recommend drop, put a little drop of oil right where that uh, axle goes into the bearing especially with uh, our uh, rolling uh, bearing caps that way this whole shaft there gets a little bit of oil in there and also again with our uh, center rail pickup rollers that keeps squeaking down those are notorious for squeaking and gives us a little bit better continuity okay we got track power to the track and uh, got our ipad ready to go ahead and use this this uh, can be uh, act the camera can be accessed with either an ios device or android it also comes with a cd that you can put into your laptop and you can also view the camera through there for demonstration purposes we're just going to use the ipad here so first we want to make sure we have our Lionel Wi-Fi camera app download from the App Store and then after that after we know we have track power which we do we'll come in here to settings and Wi-Fi settings and this big long one here with that CM at the front we we'll want to go ahead and click on that and we're connected there that way we know we're connected to our caboose come over here we'll go ahead and launch our app we'll click OK it found our new device We'll just click OK on that message there. And we'll go ahead and click this. We want to hit skip. Give it a second. And we are all set up and going. So if I go ahead and I can move our caboose here, and that re reflects on our camera. We have a live streaming video feed here. If I go ahead and tap on our screen here, this gives us a, a different uh, options here. We can flip flop our view a bunch of different ways. We have a couple other contrast and brightness options over here. If we go ahead and hit this, I can take a snapshot. Or if we go ahead and hit that video camera down there, if you can see that hopefully. And we've started a recording. Now, just like the theater car, this does not have a microphone so it is just video no audio go ahead move it around a little bit stop it back there go ahead and hit done and then once I remember not that way now our apps reloading so after we get back out of there I think we have to go ahead and turn on yeah, there we go so that's why I was wanting to get it so we was hit skip we was in here and if we go ahead and hit back, now we can come back down here into our snapshot. There's our snapshot we took. And I bet you I can... No, I cannot. Okay. So here's our snapshot. And then we can come over here to record. And right up here is our recorded video. 
go ahead and hit click on that. And it's playing, so here in a second we'll see it move from when I moved it earlier. There we go. And this is our uh, video playing. Now for, I've had questions on this before. Uh, if you want to export our video here, we just press and hold on that video there. We, if we hit share, this is just iOS, I don't know anything on Android. We hit share, this will then bring up an, an ability to either save, to, uh, save video, which will save it to our device, or go ahead and message or email it from here. All right, we got power to the track, train ready to go. We'll go ahead and take this for a loop around layout. One quick note is Lionel d uh, does say that this is completely, uh, can be used on both command and conventional layouts, but it is still recommended to use this with the command engine, uh, being as uh, the camera does need a constant five volts. It has its own power board, but uh, a, a constant 18 volts to the track will most definitely help. Let's go ahead and take it for a spin around layout.
So we've taken the caboose for a spin around the lamp. As you can see, it's a beautiful view. Uh, the only thing we noticed is the resolution of the image seemed a little bit lower in quality as compared to the theater car. Um, not sure why that is. Uh, one speculation is ours, ours for the club. We got this through the uh, 2018 Ambassador program. And with that, this showed up in the beginning of uh, February and dealers didn't start getting theirs to ship to everybody else in the, until the beginning of March. So uh, speculation is, is this could possibly be a very late uh, pre-production sample and that could contribute to that. We're not 100% sure on that uh, as to why this showed up in the beginning of February of 2019, whereas everybody else's didn't show up till beginning of March. So the Cupula Cam uh, Caboose was first cataloged in Lionel's 2018 Big Book. Right up front here on the first page of it is our Santa Fe version. If we go over here to our next page, we, there was a number of other road names. So many different flavors to choose from, from the original uh, listing. Again, these did start shipping to dealers and other uh, people in the beginning of March of 2019. So they should be out on the market. Uh, MSRP on this model, uh, caboose was right at $125. You go through any good Lionel dealer, you can probably get a pretty good discount on that retail price. With that being said, there were more road names and flavors of colors that you could choose from in Lionel's most recent 2019 Big Book catalog. The minimum curve on these cabooses is right at 031, so it's very small layout friendly. This concludes our review of the Lionel Cupula Cam Santa Fe Wide Vision Caboose. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube, and be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you make sure you get all the notifications of our new product reviews and running train videos. Also, remember to go onto Facebook and hit like over there for us so that you can get all the notifications of open hours here in Wichita, Kansas, and all of our upcoming train shows. Thanks for watching.